Hey everybody, it's BlackRB123, and we finally did it. My channel has hit 2,000 views. Yay! So I know for a lot of bigger channels, this isn't a, exactly a giant accomplishment. Usually they celebrate uh, subscriber milestones or 1 million or even 1 billion views. But for me, being a relatively no-budget, Z-list YouTube channel, this is really big for me. And even when I started back in like 2017, I, I ran through two mindsets. One, that this was my key to become internet famous, or I would never even get 10 subscribers. And I'm also doing this entirely unscripted, so there's going to be a lot of pauses. You should also know that it's really because of you guys that, that my channel has gotten as far as it did. Um, and for those of you that have subscribed, I thank you from the bottom of my heart, and those who have just clicked on it, I once again thank you, just because 2,000 views is still a big milestone for me. I can only hope that one day I eventually make it to 3,000 views, or maybe even 5,000 views. Also, this helmet sucks, it muffles my voice, the, the visor gets all fogged up, and my face gets all sweaty. So I'm not really sure how to do these kinds of videos, but for starters, I guess I'll share a very brief history about my channel. So at least back when I was in like the second grade, I had always been obsessed with YouTube. I would watch it pretty much all day every day during the summer, and eventually I came up with the idea with, um, hey, maybe, maybe I should make my own movies for the internet. So uh, back in 2017, I made my first YouTube video. It showed off my Christie puzzle collection, which you can kind of see is back there. Um, and if you know my videos, you know I'm a collector of certain things, so I've just always been that way. And you're not going to find that video on my channel. The only existing copies are on my dad's YouTube channel and my dad's Facebook. And it was kind of stupid, but it was also fun. And let's see. Then in 2018, I released my three cubing videos onto my channel, although back then my channel was private, um, which is why that they're shown as posted later than my Attila the Hun movie. And that movie was a um, Zoe World History Project back in the eighth grade. It was on Attila the Hun. And I do not look fondly on that video at all, just because I know it could have been so much more. But, um, yeah, so, pretty much after that, it just moved to unboxing videos. I just wanted to show people what was going on with, with my life. And, um, and back then I did have a lot of ideas, mostly involving gaming videos, but I don't have the technology for that yet. At least, um, at least for the TV with the full capture card, microphone, and a several hundred dollar video editing software. And uh, I remember the uh, couple days after Christmas, I made my first uh, short video. It's on a uh, stupid uh, slide whistle. I had a brass rod. It was under some stuff on my desk and when I moved it, it made kind of a sound that sounded like a slide whistle, so I thought it would make some people laugh. And my short videos have always been very unpopular, but then there was one I released uh, not a while ago. It was on my LEGO Tinsegrity, which I've, as of now, I've had for like a couple months now, maybe more. And to my surprise, that video completely blew up on my channel. Overnight it had, um, or it had gained over 500 views, which totally shocked me. And if you guys want, I can make more LEGO related videos. And, uh, that's, uh, that's basically where I am now. A little bit more about myself. As I've already said, I'm a collector. And if you guys have seen, uh, my drum solo video, you also know I'm a musician of sorts. I've been involved with music classes in school since the seventh grade, and I, I, I am a percussionist. And for a long time, I've also wanted to make uh, drum cover videos, although the, 
reason I haven't done those yet is because I'm worried about copyright. If I can, uh, if I ever write a solo that I'm proud enough, then I will do a performance of that on YouTube. Some other things I collect are uh, movies, obviously, uh, twisty puzzles, uh, books by Stephen King, he's my favorite author, and also some uh, video games. That's, a, that's actually more of a new thing, I'm, uh, although throughout my life I've always been a Nintendo nerd. And I've also been a huge uh, horror film nerd. There's, uh, I definitely have some stuff that I could show off. And uh, I don't know if there would be a way to express my nerdiness, but also have it be entertaining. Also, you can see back there, I've also been a Nerf gun collector. Now I'm not so much anymore. I, the last gun I bought was almost a year ago, and that had a like three year gap in between. But if you guys want a video on any of the collections I've just mentioned, all you have to do is ask. Also, one of my original loves was also building things. And you can obviously see that through Legos, but I also have side projects that I am proud of. And the Lego history has gone on since I was little, and I have had several models in the past that I've been proud of that don't exist anymore because I take my part to build other projects, which I do currently have. For example, I have my uh, hand sculpture. It's not really an open hand, it's uh, supposed to make a fist, but the fingers are fully bendable. And my most proud model I've ever built is my kinetic orrery. Again, another model based off of J.K. Zerkwitz. Got the sun, uh, earth, and moon all moving, and then the earth and moon also rotate around the sun. Damn it. But yeah, ask if you want a video about those. Some more about myself is I love video games, which you can probably tell by the um, few gaming videos I put on my channel. And a while ago I said that Halo is my favorite video game series. I still kind of feel that way, although the stuff I'm into uh, goes very on and off. And at the moment, I'm really into Mario. That's uh, That was my first uh, video game love. In fact, the first video game I ever played was an online version of Donkey Kong. And I've also wanted to do a speed, to do some speedrunning videos of Mario for a while. Although, once again, I don't have a capture card. Unless you guys are okay with um, very, uh, it's a very poor camera quality and a lot of head and a lot of heavy breathing. And uh, something else I picked up around the, at the same time I picked up that Super Nintendo was the original Super Mario Bros. for the NES. Can't believe how lucky I'm to find this. Not only because it's, in, it's a freaking NES copy, but it's just Super Mario Bros. Usually you see Super Mario Bros. plus Duck Hunt. Speaking of speed, I started out in the world of speed cubing. Then I moved to speed stacks with the cups, and uh, now it's uh, speed running. So you could say my entire life has been built around speed. Something else about my videos is that that uh, Lego Consecrated video still remains the uh, most popular video on my channel, at least in terms of the amount of views it has. And uh, my chapter two unboxing for a really long time was my most popular video, mostly because I think it came out at the right time when all the it and uh, it chapter two hype was going on so um yeah I don't, but, uh, and while that was a success i don't know how many videos i'm gonna release at the exact right time but um i guess you could say all my videos have their own story also before i started getting serious about youtube i did have a lot of ideas so i want you guys to know that even though I'm proud of what I've been able to do, it's not even close to everything I've always wanted. And uh, I think that's about it. Once again, I thank you for 2,000 views and even more for 23 subscribers. I love each and every one of you, and I'll see you later.